What's up everyone, it's your boy Shock here, and today we're doing the Asteroid Mind Map Guide. It's been long awaited, highly anticipated, but I just wanted to wait until after the wipe just in case they did something funky and changed it all around on me. But they didn't, and it's great because Asteroid Mine is one of my favorites, doesn't need really any work on it. Alright, let's get into it. Alright, another humongo shout out to Atu for this great, great map. Thank you so much for all your hard work, my brother. If you're looking for the maps for Marauders, definitely check out the link below in the description of the video. Alright, so we're spawning in at the air processor airlock. I would say that any of the airlocks on the far left and the far right side are the safer airlocks to come in through. Export and garage are the least favored because they are very exposed and as soon as you get out there you might be right in the battle in the thick of it. But that's just the way she goes and that's Marauders and let's get going. And as always we're gonna have the handy dandy map with an X locating where I'm at on the recording. All right so true to my word we are at air processing and right next to our first secret stash. This has got to be one of the better secret stashes because it's very well hidden. There's there's not many people that know about it and if you spawn in this area you're likely not going to have to worry about anything because you're well covered while you loot. Also this area rarely has AI and it's very difficult for marauders to just beeline it from their spawn right to this location right off the bat. And just next door inside of air processor is one of the raid objectives. Yeah you guessed it, it's right inside of air processor. Come through this doorway, up the stairs, and through here. There you go. Hold this for about five seconds for that sweet, sweet raid objective. Bang. You've also got an abundance of these blue toolboxes that spawn blowtorches as well as other high tier craftables. Not to mention the body for mine tokens that open the depot door, as well as the green compact container that can give you lots of good stuff, such as fabric. Now, when you're done your looting, I always suggest to shut the doors behind you. It's really indicative whenever the marauders come through a door. Sometimes the AI does it, but generally when I see a door open, I think, okay, a marauder went this way. And sure enough, it's generally correct. All right, making our way towards refinery. This is a high probability of PVP. And this is one of the two main staging areas to establish dominance on the map. It has a lockbox. It has a secret stash. There's a lot of different layers to this part of the map. You can do a lot of different angles, a lot of different flanking. You can go to furnace. You can go to vault. There's a lot of different places you can take this area and use it to your benefit. That being said, if you're trying to avoid PVP, I would say probably try to head towards furnace. Stick to the top side of the map and get out at a regular close before anybody really gets wise of you being there or hearing you shooting the AI. And as I've said in previous videos, my favorite part about Asteroid Mine and specifically Refinery is this conveyor belt right here. It's got to be a Marauder's wet dream. There's low railing so your gun doesn't fold. You can aim down but you also have cover as well as the footsteps are muted. It's not easy to hear somebody up here. You have the higher ground. You can see one airlock, export as well as air processor. You can see all the way over to the other side by security. You can go all the way into furnace. There's so many different areas that that conveyor belt can take you and give you and your homies the proper cover you need to spring traps and fight pvp and then you can jump right back up there jumping on those cables jump crouch and you're right back up there so you can attack from multiple sides to get on this conveyor belt gives you that shot towards security as well as defending the ramps below and the secret stash right beneath you on top of that it gives you easy access towards the top of the elevator shaft as well as looking over by export and wrapping around conveniently all the way over to connector and security and as I said before, this is one of the other really important parts of the map for control as well as for loot. So it's got to go without saying that the connector between the two most important parts of the map is extremely, extremely dangerous and you should be very careful coming through here. One of the most important things I check when I come through connector is to see if the security door has been opened. Checking the chain link door to my right by garage, also very important. And if I hear any sort of footsteps, I definitely don't stick around in this area. This area is a death zone. I got to say, you're pretty exposed here and there's there's a lot of different angles you can get shot from. That being said, there is a lockbox in that room, one of the only two, and I would definitely utilize that if you need it and the coast is clear. Okay, so moving away from the top of ramps, which is very exposed, moving towards what I call double doors or barracks entry is another area similar to air processor in the sense that it's away from the spawns, close to high tier loot areas, as well as a nice escape route if you want to take the pods to escape. Not to mention lots of cover, different vehicles you can use to run around and flank, as well as a good way to spring a trap on anybody that's coming from the security side and looting in there. As long as you watch out for the barrel, it's a really good advantageous spot. All right, now wrapping around on the security walkway just above ramps, peeking in through the maintenance doorway, you've got yourselves the garage right here. This is definitely a high traffic area with lots of places to recover, hiding as well as for attack. And who can forget the really loud export door when it opens? This is 100% one of those things that if you don't want PVP, you should not touch. And if you hear it going off, it doesn't necessarily mean somebody has opened it just 
just then, it might just be that your proximity to the door has not triggered the noise quite yet. I personally love opening this door and running away, flanking that area, just because I know it usually draws people in, and it's a lot of fun to make noise and be annoying. And don't forget, you can jump on these crates from the conveyor belt and reap a little bit of havoc. It's kind of fun. Not many people check these areas, so you can kind of get the drop on people sometimes. Also, export is one of the areas where there's always an AI spawning in here. It doesn't seem to want to leave, so you don't have to shoot it. Don't have to give away your position. Just ignore it. Run past the doorways. Don't let it get an angle on you and just ignore the AI that's in here. Another great thing about export is being able to see into this ramps area as well as furnace and the top of the elevator shaft. Okay, so we're transitioning from the refined or the air processor furnace side of the map towards the garage and generator side of the map. That's kind of the delineating factor between these two sides of the map. This side of the map is markedly less complex. There's really only one layer, one level, and it's wide open spaces with a few bits of cover here and there. So at this point, I want to check the airlocks to see if anybody is spawned in. Looks like this one, there has been somebody that's spawned in because it says wrong airlock. You have to have a key card if you're going to be checking this stuff. Okay, next, so we're going to be going over to quiet corner. This area is a lot quieter when the airlock is opening, you actually can't really hear as well the door opening. Uh, and generally there's less PVP in this area and definitely no AI. So in terms of it being a quiet corner, there's many reasons why I call it that. Okay, now heading towards generators or jennies. We're going into the lower part of generator. There's a little bit of crafting loot down here. There's a blue toolkit box as well as a body. So definitely check that if you want to do it quickly, but I'd be careful to be stuck in there just in case somebody does spawn quiet corner and then shoots you from the above angle while you're just sitting there looting. And again, there's little to no AI in this area. The one that did shoot me is actually one that followed me from across garage, I believe. Uh, yeah, so you can loot this area. I would check the airlock over at quiet corner before you do it, just because that is a highly contested area if both places spawn pretty quickly right after each other. However, if you do see one other ship going into mine, you're generally going to be okay. If it's like multiple ships, then yeah, I would worry. But if you just see one ship going in, it's generally going to spawn you on either side of the connector generator side so the right or left side of the map. So it's pretty spread out. I wouldn't say it's an exact science, but I wouldn't worry too much about somebody spawning next to you if there's a low pop game. And as you can see, there's a lot of blue toolbox containers here. A lot of stuff that is just hidden in plain sight that you can clearly loot. I would just be careful because this is a uh, high traffic area in terms of AI as well as PVP. Continuing on through the garage area, we're going into maintenance connector. There's maintenance right here. Lots of stuff on the wall to loot as well as that door. When it opens, you, uh, you can hide behind that that door so that's always a good spot if somebody you hear on the other side and you're creeping around hiding in a corner I don't personally do that but I've definitely seen people do it and I'm always wary of that corner nowadays okay so we've made it into security I think this is a really good high tier loot location especially for how close it is to the airlocks it is a non-defensible area you can shoot through that glass you can get flanked from either side of the barred doors I would be really careful about staying in here if you hear any footsteps um, but if you do just uh, just try not to stand still too long because you can get shot through that glass pretty easily. All right, and once we're done looting in here, I would say definitely close that door behind you, make it look like nobody's touched the area, and you never know, you might bait somebody into that location and you can become the one that's attacking from the outside. Also, check out this quick little cheeky search the lockbox without actually using a lockpick trick. I'm surprised they haven't fixed this since the last update, but uh, you know, there we go. Okay, so when I come out of connector, I always suggest looking at the elevator shaft area. Uh, I wouldn't jump down over this railing or try to engage over this railing. I always find it's a lot harder to shoot through and down a railing than it is to just try and bide your time and flank from a different location. Okay, so we're back underneath conveyor belt, checking the secret stash here. There's almost always a gun on this table. I would always check that table, but it's pretty obvious when you come over to that location. Okay, so we're going to be heading over to lower air processor or lower air. Uh, the door to the left leads you down into the vault itself. There's a broken stairway that you can only lead one way down. You can't get back up or you can go to the right towards where I'm at right now in the first furnace, which leads us to another raid objective, which would be inspecting the furnace workers. Also, don't be alarmed by the unarmed miners. They're very harmless and you know, kind of cool, actually. This is generally where I find my mine depot tokens. I generally check these bodies just because of the proximity to the depot door. And luck of the draw, sometimes I get it there and it's pretty quick and easy. I don't have to worry too much about searching the bodies. And heading over towards kitchen, we've got ourselves the pod 
pod room area. We've also got barracks in this area. I always suggest checking out the food and sometimes a bit of the loot in here. It's generally a safe spot to be looting and, and checking stuff out. You can hear people coming from pretty far away as well as those doors are quite loud. So always check to see if they've been opened. And this is also the final area where there's another secret stash as well as you can find one of your final raid objectives in this location. Just behind this railing is where the secret stash is hidden. Pretty putrid, but uh, that's okay. We'll head back towards the pods area and then go upstairs towards barracks where you have that raid location I was telling you about. Once you get up here, there is something on the table for you to check for raid objective as well as the medical bag. And you've got a couple of areas on the tables for low grade food. And don't forget these little half shelf guys with uh, some medium tier craftable loot. Oh yeah, and also these office drawers. Again, not a great place to be stuck. If you do get rushed, I would say try to make yourself small in a corner with a bit of cover behind the beds. But generally, you don't want to get stuck in the barracks area. If people are rushing you, it's pretty much game over. All right, so we're doing pretty well here. There's not really many marauders, which is great for making this map guide video. I would definitely check out this area for another blue toolbox. Another great chance to get a blowtorch. All right, so we're going to be heading back towards the vault location. There's many different ways to get through here. One of the better ways I would suggest is actually going through the furnace location. Now the reason I say this is because once you're down there there's only one way to get out from the drill pit area so checking for noise, for activity, for any action is probably best from the closest area to the vault because once you get down there you're committed. So best way to jump down the vault area is hitting this back wall here. It reduces the amount of fall damage you take. Anytime you're able to fall and hit a wall or something on the way down diminishes the amount of damage you take when you actually hit the ground. All right, going into vault office, there's another blue toolbox. I find this room is super defensible. Unfortunately, I've never really had the opportunity to fight too many people in it or around it, but I would definitely try to occupy this location if you've got homies that are gonna be looting in the vault. Definitely have somebody on lookout just in case. Also, I don't suggest closing the vault behind you guys. I've never seen it, a, a situation where somebody's closed the door behind them and it's made them safer. It's just trapped them in there. Okay, so we're gonna be heading over to the foreman's office. There are med bags in here as well as a safe and another one of your raid objectives. Yeah, you guessed it, the foreman's diaries. Unfortunately, somebody did beat me to the punch, came down here and immediately left. So kudos to them for knowing that you can quickly get down into this area from certain airlocks, loot the place and split before anybody shows up like me. All right, so we've made it into the drill pit area. This is where the final raid objective is and also good high tier loot location, more bodies and that nickel ore, that sweet, sweet nickel ore. Usually there's high tier loot next to this body here, but I think it was already taken by said assailant as well as more nickel ore. All right, so as I've been harping on before, this is an area that only has one exit and you have to go upstairs for it. So you've got at least four or five angles of somebody that could be watching you, a whole team waiting for you at this stairway. You definitely don't want to be stuck in this location if you know somebody's up there. But if you are, I would not suggest fighting at the bottom. I would try to sprint through this location and try to fight your way up to these stairs and to this forklift area. I find this area is way better for cover against the elevator shaft and if you are going to push up the ramps I would be absolutely sure you're alone because these are very indefensible locations especially this conveyor belt area up here this area is always where I get shot from and I generally don't win those fights all right we got one more thing to show you here guys if you grab that nickel ore from the drill pit area head over to furnace don't worry about that unarmed miner he's still cool and head over to the opening here hit f insert the nickel ore and boom you've got 10 metal scrap and if you're lucky enough to grab two nickel or you've got 20 metal scrap or two full stacks actually so i think that's eight per stack yeah eight per stack all right y'all i think we've covered pretty much everything here uh definitely one of my favorite maps love it for the pvp love it for the looting and just generally really well designed map and hey don't forget to hit that like subscribe and comment down in the section below you know how it goes and uh, we'll see you again on the next one cheers and ciao for now